Hey guys, Camaro Theologian here. I hope this is clear. I don't even know. Um, it doesn't look like it, but there's just the sun's in the way. we roll the window. Uh, just got my car serviced at uh, the Chevrolet. I take care of this car, of the Camaro. But while I was doing it, I've been thinking a whole lot. Uh, primarily, I've been thinking about marriage. I mean, I think about marriage a whole lot. Uh, you know, I've been married 23 years, and yeah, I love my wife. She's the greatest thing God ever created. And uh, she's so sweet. She's so, I mean, what you see is what you get. She is the real deal. Every time you see her, there's no manipulation. She doesn't even know how to manipulate. She's a, she's a great, great woman, and I'm so lucky to have her. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And, um, you know, it's just... It's just something I, I've never said. You know, I've never said it publicly. I've never written about it. I just, something I'm very private about my marriage. And I thought, you know, I'll do something just because I did a wedding yesterday uh, of my nephew. And um, it was a uh, it was a beautiful wedding. Everything was, was went well. And, uh, and uh, they asked me beforehand some, for some advice and talking about what is the main thing uh, that you do. I said something funny, it wasn't very good. Hopefully it was funny later on, but I had something better, you know, that it's the one thing you would say to somebody about marriage whenever they're getting married. After 23 years, what have I learned? Gosh, there's so much. I mean, it, it would take forever to express the emotions of the difficulties that you go through and how hard, hard, hard it is and how much you, you do think about what marriage is and whether or not, you know, you can continue on in marriage. And believe me, I've been there lots, a whole lot. I'll be there again in the future because it's the, it's the primary tool I see that God shapes me more than anything else because it's the closest relationship. The difficulty is... Two people are trying their best to be one, and they're very different. And and you cannot you cannot cease the becoming of one with marriage. You can you can uh, uh, stop it by divorce, but whenever you're married, it is always attempting to happen, and it's puzzle pieces that's trying to be put together, and it's very very difficult to find where things go. Very few times that I've ever seen in my life where there's a marriage where, you know, people just, uh, they're happy and they never have any problems. I see those marriages and I say, man, I wonder if God's involved in those marriages because it is his tool. It is the, it is the screwdriver of life. It is the thing that you always need, that you can always use, and God always uses to shape you. Now, the first thing that I would say about marriage, the most important thing, more than anything else, is an issue of theology. I mean, of course, I go there. I go there a lot because theology affects everything. Theology is the most important thing about who you are. It defines you. And there's certain aspects of theology that are, I, you know, you, you put it as non-essential in the sense of you don't have to hold to these things the way that I do in order to love God and be in his family. But at the same time, they do affect everything. And this thing is about the sovereignty of God. And I don't care about Calvinism. I don't care about Arminianism. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying become a Calvinist. However, you do have to look at this and say, in your marriage, this is exactly where God wants you. That's so hard because all you do whenever you're going through the difficulties is try to figure out how you made the mistakes and how to fix those mistakes and how it is that this wasn't really meant to be. And I, I've been there. I've been, I mean, I've been at that door so many times and you, you, you want to open it, but you can't because it's locked. There's a lock on that door that says, leave this marriage. And that lock is the sovereignty of God. That's the biggest lock that you have. All the other locks are smaller. You can break them. This one, you can't. If you have the sovereignty of God deep, deep within you and you say this to yourself, this is exactly where God wants me. This person that I am with is exactly who I should be with. Uh, I know that there's all kinds of yeah buts. I'm not dealing with those right now, okay? I know there are, and those yeah buts are real. But here's the main principle. God is in control. God is, you're with the perfect person. You have found the one, as I, as I say in the wedding uh, during my ceremony, I say you have found the one that is, oh my gosh, just right. Just like Adam said, it's perfect. I'm sure Adam and Eve had all their difficulties, you know, and uh, maybe got to the edge or the door of, of leaving. 
Um, I, I, I don't know, but I know that all marriages have those. And the sovereignty of God has, has defined me and defined my marriage more than anything else. And my wife believes in it. My wife, wife believes in our marriage. And in the end, we always have to work it out because this, unless we leave God, or not leave God in the sense of, you know, no longer believing, but leave him in the sense of saying, God, I know you're trying to use this and this is your tool. This is your screwdriver, but I've decided that I am just gonna, you know, uh, kind of leave this situation. I'm sorry, God, because it's too hard. I understand that. I really do. It's, it's hard. It really is hard. Um, but keeping the sovereignty of God in perspective, holding that tightly and letting your spouse be used in a way that is, is transforming you more than any other thing on earth. That's all I got to say about marriage. I probably won't say much more. I mean, like I said, I'm private about it, but I did want to say that. I did want everybody to know how much I incredibly love my wife. She is so beautifully great everywhere. Oh, and I guess uh, since I did that, my kids will watch this and I got to say something about my kids. I can't, I, I mean, I'd have to do it each one for my kids because each one is so wonderful and great. And I just love them so much. So anyway, sovereignty of God, take it and, and embrace it tightly. Don't, don't neglect this. Uh, you know, uh, the penalty is, is very high. <laughs>